What's up guys welcome to Tech Ideas channel. In this tutorial I'll show you how to make a subscribe panel on HitFilm Express in very easy and professional way like this one right here as you can see guys. And also I show you how to save this as a composite chart to use it whenever you want so stay tuned. First guys you're gonna create a new project in the top right here and we click on OK. After that you're gonna import a subscribe button. I'll leave some in the description below like this one and we're gonna make this a composite chart. Like this and we're gonna click on OK again. As you can see guys this subscribe button have all around the green screen and we're gonna get rid of this green screen. And actually it's very easy we just came to the effects panel right here and we're gonna search for color difference key effect and we're gonna apply this to our video like this as you can see it's that simple all the green screen is gone and now we came to the controls panel and we can adjust it a little bit more from there as you can see right here make the edges a little bit soft like that and now guys we're gonna import our youtube channel's logo like this one and we're gonna put it above this template right here and from there we're gonna position it and scale it the way we want like this or so as you can see guys our logo doesn't move with our template we're gonna make it move with it and also we're gonna add a text draw a box like this and we're gonna type tech ideas and also we can add like subscribe for more or so And we're gonna scale this in the text panel right here. Also we can change the color and make this dark blue. And put it like this. Also this one right here. And now guys as you can see we have the text and the logo. But we have to make it move with this template. So we came to the logo right here and we're gonna extend that and in the transform panel right here we're gonna make a position keyframe and we're gonna move it down like this till it disappears completely and we're gonna do the same thing with the text make keyframe in the position right here and move it completely down right here. And now we're gonna move forward like this when this template appear like here or so and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna make another keyframe by moving this logo right here select those two keyframes and make them manual bezier as you can see it doesn't move perfectly well and now we came to the value graph right here and move forward a little bit like this and from those points we're gonna make the logo move exactly with this panel right here by moving forward a little bit like this and we're gonna move those points and change the position of this logo it's very simple process as you can see guys And you can make it so much accurate if you play with it enough time. As you can see guys now we have our logo move with our template. So now we're gonna do the same thing with the text. So guys you're gonna select the second keyframe 
After that we came to the new text right here and from there we move the text and put it next to the logo like here also and from here we gonna make those two keyframes manual busy and also in value graph we gonna do the same thing put it like this and we gonna move those points forward like this and move it forward again like here or so move those points like this as you can see guys it does perfectly move with our template now we're gonna do the same thing in the end put this line right here or so and we're gonna come to the logo again and we're gonna make a keyframe right here move one frame forward and we're gonna make another keyframe right here and move all the way like this and we're gonna move this logo down like that now we select all those keyframes and make them manual busy and also we came to the value graph right here and now we're gonna do the same thing move those points forward like this and here we're gonna do the same thing like that move this forward And now we double click in the first keyframe right here and we came to the new text again create a keyframe right here like this move one frame forward like that and make another keyframe also move all the way like this and we're gonna make and we're gonna make this text disappear in the position right here select those all keyframes make them manual busy also and in value graph we're gonna do the same thing like this move forward and change the point like this and now let's see what we have guys Now guys after we have created that cool subscribe panel all we have to do is to save it as a composite chart to use it next time when you start making video. We came here in the media panel and here in the composite chart we're gonna click with the right side in the mouse and from there we're gonna choose save as and here we're gonna name this composite chart and save it for later. So that's all for me guys if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button it really helped me a lot. See ya.